Okay, now here's another one. There's a university called FIU, Florida International University. And they actually have an academic unit that's state of the art in constructing structures that use pretensioning or post-tensioning. And, quote, they wanted to create this bridge right on their campus. So they hired a, an architect, an engineering firm. This does a lot of work for federal work. And basically what happened is in their structure, their concrete structure, it started cracking. And they all looked at it. In fact, the day that this bridge fell and killed five people, every expert was under that bridge looking at that crap from the government expert to the designing engineering expert to any inspecting experts and to the experts from the school. I mean, this was their cutting edge expertise. And you can see what it is, right? They're, they're building one of these things, right? That utilizes post-tensioning, right? So the bridge can actually be the mass of the bridge, the amount of concrete, et cetera, is vastly reduced. Well, what happened is, it collapsed. After they had a meeting with all the experts, and I don't care. I mean, I was one of those government people one time. They're looking at this bridge, right? And everybody says, well, based on my expertise, I, I don't think we have a problem. In the afternoon, the bridge fell and killed five people. What they should have done was everybody should have realized that they didn't actually have the expertise. They should have shut down, cordoned the area off so no one could walk under that bridge. That's what they should have done. Well, the end result is they charged the engineering firm who designed that bridge with, quote, the responsibility, and they banned that engineering firm that was doing federal projects all over the country from ever receiving a federal job for 10 years. Well, that engineering firm went and hired a consulting firm. And that consulting firm, of course, has more information on failures. And basically, they were using a state-of-the-art concrete here. And when you use the state-of-the-art concrete and you're putting the structures together, evidently you have to rough up that concrete before you match it with anything else, whether it be the, the uh, post-tensioning, uh, quote, uh, rods or a, a different part of the structure. Right? You, you have to rough up that concrete because if you don't, it doesn't have the same capability that the engineer designed. And while this consulting firm actually went back to another couple of fiascos in the San Francisco Harbor, and there was this $2 billion Transbay Transit Center, $2 billion, right? And they found cracks in the structural members within the first couple months of opening. And no one knew what was causing the problem. They brought the experts in and the experts figured out that they were using this state-of-the-art advanced concrete and using post-tensioning. And that because the subcontractor tried to speed up his schedule and didn't spend time roughing up the concrete as they matched the structural members together and bolted them together, that that actually caused a failure. Well, who had that information? Nobody had that information, but they actually blamed the designer who had nothing to do with that type of failure. And now it's going to go to court. It was in court and the judge quickly said, no, you're just trying to pass the buck. We deem you responsible for this and you cannot do federal work for 10 years. Well, they're gonna go back to court because this 
quote, expert actually built mock samples to prove the same thing that was proven in this transbay failure of structural members. It's because people don't have enough expertise. We don't identify and utilize expertise. It's an amazing thing. And so now I would hate to be an engineer working under those circumstances of being accused of what they're accused of. But it happens, right? It's part of the event. I show these things to show that when we identify an expert, now in the Transbase Center, when they saw the cracks in the new steel members, they immediately shut down the whole center. They were wise enough to do that because there's so many people walking through there every day. And so they, they shut it down. What they should have done in this FIU case is shut that bridge down. But people without enough expertise made a decision. And this happens like over and over in the supply chain. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more content. If you have any questions about the best value approach or for Dr. Dean, leave them in the comment section below and we'll get to them in a later video. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.